Yes. I'm Mori, and welcome I, back to Last Window. I, I looked at my big boy brain, and I found out what we needed to do. And by looked at my big boy brain, I mean I looked at that's just what he That's just what he calls his phone. There's a cardboard <laughs> box under the table with the Red Crown logo on it. It's full of crap Egg gave me to sell. He's going to use the things that he has to sell? Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a lot of stuff. Maybe I can use this ruler. I take the small ruler out of the box. Dude, we have like a mother load of different tools that we could use here. Yeah. Every time we get stuck, we just gotta look in there. Yeah. Who knew this job could be so helpful? Yeah. I'm just stealing other people's stuff. <laughs> it's not even other people's stuff. You, you're like trying, you, yeah. you have to try and sell it. I'm selling it to myself. What if you what if, like the way he pitches it? Sometimes is he's like he uses it for like very miscellaneous things, and he's mm. like, "Hey, you can even use it to you even use this ruler to get money out of your piggy bank." Check it out. That's the added bonus. I sure hope this works. Ah! 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 <laughs> Oh, oh, fuck this. <laughs> so it seems like you're going to have to spatulate it. All right. Okay, it's not that great. Like, it's not going to get blocked by the, the ruler. You could just do that. Oh, you have to be careful. Not let it fall off. <laughs> All right, one more. Okay. He just drops it and breaks it. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Firmly grasp it. What the hell? <laughs> there we go. You dick. Oh my god. You almost had it there. The tense moment when you're about to fuck it up. I pick up three points. <laughs> now I've got a penny. Whew. Could you have done that with only getting the penny? Um... Because it gave you the coins and the penny. Yeah. Like, it's separate. So, wait, why do I need the coin? To respond to, to a letter? To, yeah, to send why? an envelope. I don't know. Why do I need money? Pretty sure I've got all the coins out. Also, technically, he didn't commit a federal offense. That was his own letter. Yeah. <laughs> do I just need to pay to, like, use the mailbox? I guess so. A whole penny? Yeah, back in the day, uh, bottles, we had to pay to use the mail. You still do, but it just comes out of your taxes. <laughs> These mailboxes are for the tenants on the second floor. So me. These mailboxes are for the third floor residents. Alright, not doing that. So what do I do now? We, we, we couldn't do that last part of it. Yeah, isn't that isn't his on that one? That's this one. It's mailbox for room 202. Oh. Do I combine it with the penny? I think you combine that. No, I think you combine the empty envelope with the penny. Put <laughs> the coin inside the envelope. Now I have an envelope with a coin in it. <laughs> envelope with coin. And then combine with order sheet. These don't really go together. Is he something? Is he sending something out? I don't know. I guess we're not sending anything. 
yet. <laughs> yet. What did he say he wanted to do? He wanted to reply? Do we just like rip a little note from our notepad and tell them, I don't know, these nuts? <laughs> Boxes for the fourth floor. I need to place the envelope in the one for room 404. I don't know why, but we do. Whoops, that was the wrong button. I just really like to remind myself about the 400 smackaroos for horrors. <laughs> Slots on the mailbox have been sealed shut with tape. I need to put the response into this mailbox. What? Are you kidding me? It's like actually pulling out tape. You have to like go yeah. at it a few times in the beginning and then it gets easier. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was the instructions on like the letter, I guess. I don't know. Right. That's that sorted. Now to sit out and wait for a reply to arrive about the Scarlet Star and the reward. Did it say that? I don't know. We didn't actually we, read the letter. We can read the letter. Yeah. Four o'clock. And here comes an ongoing uh, series of cutscenes that won't allow us to read the letter. Yes. As I predicted. After I reach my room, I slump onto the sofa and mull over the order sheet. Thinking about Ho reading it, but I can't. <laughs> Hotel Cape West closed down 13 years ago. And there was a party before the closure, during which a murder took place. The staff of the hotel had a secret code, STAR, that they used. What connection can this all have to the order sheet? I think Scarlet Star is the, uh... Four o'clock already. Suppose I'd better get going. Wouldn't want to keep Dylan waiting. Oh, right, we're going upstairs. Yeah. Let's read that order sheet, see if it actually told us to do that. Item, locate the Scarlet Star which appeared at Hotel Cape West 25 years ago. That's it. Why would you, why would, why? It was probably something that was said before and we just forgot about it. Probably. I believe it. Yeah. What room is Dylan in again? I know he's on the third floor. We might have to just beat him there. Like upstairs on the fourth floor. Right. There he is. You came. Dylan. That's me. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Well, I'm here now. Let's get this show on the road. You're on your own, I'm afraid. I'm not going in. The place scares the willies out of me. You'll have to go on your own. You know my heebies? They're also paired with the jeebies. <laughs> <laughs> You're the heebies to my jeebies. I thought we agreed you'd show me around in there. That's what you said earlier. No, I never said that. Maybe you weren't listening to me. I said that I'd let you in, not give you a guided tour. So you let me in? Yeah, I said I'd tell you how to get through the fire door. Got it. And if you know how to get through the door without setting off the alarm, you'll never have to deal with Mitch Patrice getting upset if you go in there. Music to my ears. There's no music. <laughs> the first thing you need to do is to disable the alarm. Am I deaf? I don't hear music. <laughs> it's really simple. All you need to do is turn off the switches on the control panel. Sounds, Sounds simple, simple enough. enough. <laughs> no, not like that. Oh. Sounds simple enough, and I've used this panel before. I don't want to do it again. Oh, did we have to fuck around? Yes. Oh, gosh. And it was worse than the last game. All right. I nearly forgot about that. Let's move on to the next part. 
You need to disable another panel before you can get through the door open. There's another one? It's a lever in a box in the right of the door. If this is turned off, you'll be able to open the door. Do you follow? Yeah, I think I've got it. Also, please bear in mind that if the knob on the reverse door is broken, so make sure you don't get stuck in there because you won't be able to get back out. Great. There's a toolbox next to the door. If you get, if you look inside it, you'll find a door stop. Once you got the door open, I recommend using that to prevent it from closing on you. This, that should be all you need to avoid getting trapped in there. I'll make a point of remembering it. I'll be in the hallway of the floor below, making sure that nobody tries to come up here. Good plan. Once 30 minutes have passed, I'll come and get you. I'll reset the lever. You disabled afterwards and reactivate the alarm. Mm -hmm. One last thing, try not to make any noise while you're in there. It draws attention. You have to be really stealthy. You wouldn't want Miss Patrice to come looking for you. You got that right. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Dylan makes his way towards the stairs and disappears out of sight. Alright, we're gonna do this next time. If you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Hit that bell notification if you want to see more Last Window and what our investigation. Question of the day. Have you ever pulled the fire alarm in your uh, local building? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever committed a crime? <laughs> Put that shit in the comments below. Tell us any reason why, whether it was just for a prank or if it was an actual fire. I'm Bose. I'm Maury. Bye. Bye-bye.